In this video, we're going to look at um, deriving a formula that helps us find the radius of a circle inscribed in a triangle, the side lengths of AB and C. And this is actually what turns out to be a pretty even pro easy process, even though it's not a commonly taught formula. Um, if there is an inscribed circle in this triangle, and they're very difficult to draw, so let's say we, well, that's a pretty solid inside circle there. So with that inscribed circle, what happens is when a circle is inscribed in a triangle, the, the triangle's sides are tangent to the radius, or to the circle, which means they're perpendicular to the radius. And so if you draw in these radius, you find out that they're all on the same length, and they all meet the side length at right angles, which then means you can partition or separate this graph into three triangles that I'll form with my red lines, and I can find the area of this triangle. And so in this case, the area of the triangle is going to be one half times a times r, so that's one half the base times the height, plus one half b times r, plus one half c times r. And so if I just do a little bit of simplification, I can see that a equals, well, factor out the one half r, and what you're left with is a plus b plus c, but a plus b plus c is simply the perimeter of the triangle. And so what we found out is that the um, uh, area and perimeter of a triangle are related to each other and related to the um, inscribed radius or the in radius and that is the ratio of the area to the perimeter of a triangle is equal to the ratio of the radius of the inscribed circle to two and I just calculate that by dividing both sides by two. And most importantly is to know this formula, area equals one-half RP, because that formula is one that will often be used um, in solving problems.